presentation of Powder Puff 2004, or 2024. 2024, we're a little bit of a year off, but it is a very good day to have some football going. That's beautiful. I'm your host, uh, James Mira, and I'm here with... I'm Nicholas Amesca, here to give you today's coverage of Powder Puff. All right, in case you don't know what Powder Puff is, it's uh, the annual flag football game with the juniors versus the seniors. But and a bit of a twist is that yeah, all girls. And and then the boys are cheerleaders. Oh, I, so I, I, I don't see. see I, we, oh, I don't idea. think we have the cheerleaders. I don't think we have any cheerleaders this year. How unfortunate! But we have the players out there. Um, they tried out, and we have the coaches. Uh, they are selected by the football team coach, the head coach uh, Daryl Thomas, and uh, the coach the. Captains this year are what was that? Uh, uh, <laughs> they did not say. Um, captains coach for coach the captain for the uh, seniors are. Let's see. Missing <laughs> somewhere. Theo Thompson, Theo Thompson, Noah Sandoval, Sion Saliafu. Cole Renko, AJ Matalao, and Jacob Ibarra, Trenton Daly. Those are the senior coaches. And then we have uh, Tui um, Hoching as the head coach for the juniors. Uh, Justin Benson, Galvin Marquez, Noah Guerrero. Uh, and those are your coaches for your juniors in the white jerseys. Now, um, before we start the game, I would like to introduce well, since we just started and with the juniors, start with the juniors and go backwards with players, if you don't mind. All right, we have a lot of players on this roster. <laughs> a little bit. So, starting the class of 2025, we have Ariana Duran, Samaya Milander. No, Milander? If I mispronounce your name, oh. feel free to come up or comment that I messed up your name. Uh, I'm only human, so. Uh, then we have Isabella Nunez, Yesenia Valdez, Sarah Thomas, Emily Deering, Madison Baldone, Alexandra Escalante, Adriana Flores, Natalia Luna, Jillian Bach, Kaylee Berry, Yvonne Mendoza, Caitlin Pardo, Chloe Robertson, Sydney Ryan, Addison Contreras, Alicia Mora, Michelle Rendon, Danielle Becerra, Addison Amarine, Emily Wright, Alexander no, Rule, Mackenzie Freeman, Peyton Arnold, Mia Bach, Faith Contreras, Brianne Angela Gingras, Paige Stevenson, Haley Medina, Vivian Kennett, Jalen Minner, Gianna Lomelli, Lily Sepulveda, Julia Mendoza, Jazlyn Vasquez, Gabrielle Williamson, Ashley Gonzalez, and Presley Garola. Now since switching to our players in green, which is going to be our seniors this year. We have Brooklyn Bowman, Motique Smith, Jaden Verdell, Jewel Martinez, Mia Deering, Shahad al I'm sorry if I missed Gianna Turkas, Natalie Gordoy, Chloe Wheeler, Francine Borado, Mackenzie Marquez, Allison Brooks, Kennedy Daly, Liam Thomas, Mia Molina, Spencer Damask, Ava Kunis, Angelina Aldana, Layla Rosenthal, Natalia Gonzalez, Aldana Watson, Alana Watson, excuse me, Alondra Salazar, Kaya White, Kate Watson, Marlena Espinosa, Sophia Jetter, Jake Garcia, uh, Sophia Stage, Mallory Mahler, Hannah Bixby, Molly Vieira, Angelina Vidal, Kiera Bozek, Joselyn Morales, Emily Marquez, Antonia Hawkins, Kaylee Brooke, Brooke Coda, Olivia Powers, Megan Mitchell, Andrea Gabriel, Bethany Leo, Anaya Darnell, Evelyn Garcia, Celeste Ornelas, Sophia Anilo, Elizabeth Perez, Alexander Guzman, Alexander Perez, Victoria Valenzuela, Kalina Ova Spence, and last but not least, Sarah Henson. <laughs> so the, the periods that they're getting started, they're getting into positions right now. Um, 
There are a lot of players that you just want to say. We're talking that we have starting nine for the juniors and 15 for the seniors. We have quite the roster this year. All right. So for over a decade, our athletic director, Bo Wilden, has been referee. And also joined, uh, joining him is our football team's head coach, Daryl Thomas. And there we start with the kickoff. As received and it's run all the way to about the 45, I think that's where the flag dropped. All the refs are volunteering their time out of their busy schedule and uh, here just for the fun of it. To the volunteers, even if it's just fun, we thank you for our, your service towards our game and our school. Right. They're getting, they're getting All right, so looks like the seniors' offense is ready. We have your starting five line. Here comes the other four. Looks like a. Uh, Starting for the seniors is Marlena Espinoza, quarterback. The ball is under center. And it's immediately handed off. So 40, 45, 50, and it's out of the 45. Finally out of bounds at the 40, but it looked like her leg buckled a little bit, but uh, looks like She's able to get up and healthy. Yeah, that was a very good one. I'm honestly interested to see who wins. I think we had an issue with the seniors. Last year, the juniors won uh, 32 to 26. So this is a stacked junior team. They're returning now as seniors. And so they're favored to win based on their dominant performance last year. Ball under center. The oh, 35. Ball is hiked, and it's a throw, and it's caught. A 30, a 25, a 20. And it appears to be the five was taken to the 20-yard line. Mia Thomas with that huge catch. And that'll make it a first down at the 20 yard line. Mia Thomas is on the girls varsity team. Yes. A lot of athletes on this team. A mixture of softball players, basketball players. Oh, it looks like there's a penalty that's gonna Bring the juniors back. Not sure what the penalty is all about. Nor do I, to be honest. But May have been an offside. It looks like something, you know, right up, right at the uh, line of scrimmage. So we're back to around the uh, forty-five. Perhaps a holding. And there's a little bit of uh, confusion. Uh, All right, we are We're getting replays. All right. And a bit of a swap, it looks like I believe number 53 just went home. Or not. Um, oh, no. Yeah. So, number 53 for the seniors, uh, Molly Gitta, just came on the field. Uh, now we have number 19. Number 3, 35. There are so many names. I'm going to be out of breath after this. All right. 
I believe the center is Ava Cruz. It's hard to see the numbers. Number Huge catch! To the 10. And the flag was taken at about the 10 yard line. That was a uh, Molly he Guerra. He Guerra is the uh, receiver on that. Huge catch. It was a panic situation for the seniors as they had that penalty and were driven back. Now it's a handoff to number three. And that's uh, Motique Smith. Alexander Escalante, number 10, came straight in from the right side and was able to get that flag before uh, Smith could get anywhere. Now the future of Powder Puffs is going to be a little bit uncertain um, because there will probably be athletes that are actually playing flag football for a league. Next year the baseline league will be starting its flag football season. There's the hype. And there's a person open in the end zone. That's a senior. <laughs> Again, that's Molly Higuera. And uh, she was able to you know, get that huge uh, catch on the left corner. Um, and that's going to be a six point lead for the seniors. And we'll see if they go for a two point conversion or if they have a kicker that's going get to get it to the field goal. Yeah. Um the catch was really good. Um, there, it, it was around the left corner. There wasn't a lot of people around it, so it was... Yeah, she was wide open. Almost for getting that ball into the end zone. So on February 3rd of last year, the California Interscholastic Federation, CIF, uh, sanctioned flag football. Um, the NFL was a big uh, sponsor of that, and uh, they're advocating for it to be included in the 2028 Olympics in Los Angeles. And they're going for the two, it's uh, overthrown outside the end zone. All right, so the senior is on the board early. 13.36 to go. We have um, the teams that will be involved next year will be the same as the ones that are in the baseline league now, except uh, St. Lucie's. So that'll be uh, Chino Hills, Rancho, Etiwanda. Uh, a head coach has been selected for the season. Uh, Heather Inglima. Inglima, sorry, that's uh, Upland's first ever girls flag football coach. For more info about the tryouts, we have that um, meeting on the 28th. It'll be at the PE Portable at lunchtime. To be more specific, PE Portable N245 on N245. So if you're interested in playing close back football next year, Thursday, March 28th is a date to mark on the calendar. All right, short kick to the 30, and that's Alexander Alexandra Escalante with the uh, the quick return from the 30, and the flag was pulled at about the 40-yard line. 
No, it's going to be the 39 yard line. of the scoreboard, we apologize for the <laughs> rather interesting look of it today, but we it decided today to just be, you know, blanked out, <laughs> a quarter of it blanked out, so it, it looks kind of funky, but if it works, it works. I mean, we lost a quarter of it, so. Alright, and it appears that the juniors are getting ready to go on the offensive. 39 yard line. Some decent yardage to go. As of right now, it looks like number eight. <laughs> Quarterback appears to be Matty Baldone. Oh, a pretty high shot. Here we go. To the 50. And take it around the 34. And All right, that's Haley Medina on the, the run. They got some fast athletes on that junior side as well. around the 52 yard line. We finally entered Seekers territory for the first time in the game. Ball down. And scoot it around the right side. I'm sure Seekers is going to be able to turn the corner for the first speed. He did it. He did it for a My only question is, where's the Chargers? At the 38 yard line. Gone? I mean, it won't be a make or break, but Oh, our scoreboard's back. Holy. 63. And she's running the 50. So Haley Medina uh, running past the 40 to the 39, it looks like. Nope, to the 40. Uh, handed off by quarterback Madison Baldwin. All right. It appears that they're going to do a little bit of a, a little huddle to... Convey, but oh, all right. The junior defense, I mean, excuse me, the senior defense has to be careful. Number 63 of all the runs she's been doing, she's putting some real pressure on the uh, senior defense. I was talking to the junior coaches, they're very confident, uh, they want a repeat of last year's. Uh, Junior upset of the seniors. Oh, and that ball was botched, so it's a dead play. It has to get to the quarterback, can't hit the turf before it gets to the quarterback. Since the play was blocked, it also the ball the back to the So it looks like uh, uh, they're changing personnel. No, the only question is going to be will three guards make or break the offense? All right, Madison again. And hands it off right away to Pate Stevenson. And no one's able to get her flag until like, the 23. Or actually, no, that's the 17. Juniors are in the end zone, yes. Or the red zone. Red zone. Eight forty-five left to play in the first quarter. Quarterback eight, Paige Stevenson behind her. 
61 out of the gas. This time, yeah, the, the flag was picked up right away. May have gained a yard on that play. And in flag football, a uh, very important part is going to be pass hands. The faster you pull on that flag, the faster the play ends, the more chance you have of saving your team and getting the score on. Yeah. You want to slow the player down by getting in front of them and not letting them get around you. And uh, you have to, like you said, grab the flag really quickly. Um, it's less of a, an advantage to run. Or in, in football, you know, you can make holes and get through, and, and you might be strong enough to break a tackle. Um, but here, uh, once the flag is down, and, uh, it's down at that place. And it's so good! Just like that. Is on that back corner. We're at a tight game now, ladies and gentlemen. 6-6. Six, six. Seven minutes left on that clock. So, you know, whenever, it were, on flag football, it's a huge advantage to be throwing, going through the air often. Yeah, since they're huddling on that one player, they don't know. Like, oh, there's another one out back. They're going to go through the less defense. And since there's going to be less defense, there's a much higher probability of that. That's good. And like we just saw, tumbling into the end zone. Someone check at Mr. Barnes. Someone just yelled at the right. Peyton Arnold, another girl's varsity soccer player. So we are 6-6 six, six with around six and a half minutes left on the clock. You see that our, something's going on with our scoreboard. It was just a little speck that was uh, impeding our vision, but now it's it's kind of spread like a virus on our scoreboard. You know, we've got this uh, large black line going across it. Looks, gets it this yeah, little dump pass, but he immediately caught uh, by senior number 40, which is Jay Garcia. If you can hear our other announcer here in the city, Pablo Robertson is the announcer here in the city. Also known as the Bulls at first. So Jade on a big stop there, again those fast hands getting those, uh, getting the flag. So it's a little dump off uh, into the flat to the running back, and uh, that was a no go. All right, now it's going to be back to the seniors. After the <laughs> In the meantime, on the do you want to touch a little bit based on our sponsors? Sponsors? sponsors. We have, we have sponsors. Um, Vac and So in downtown Upland. Uh, Veronica Gross, a realtor with First Team Realtor. Captain's Grill uh, in downtown Upland. Homework Help Hotline. That is... Also a very good sponsor. Upland Barbershop. We have Legends Burgers. And the kick is off. And it looks like around the 40 or 38. That was a big return by Mia Thomas. Um, now, I'm not sure if it's because uh, they're not understanding the way kickoffs work or if it's just uh, it was it, that was intentional. But um, you saw the kick and no one was going down the field. Yes. And they, they went after um, the, uh, the catch was made. So that may have been contributed to the the long run. Nobody was down there to stop her. Yeah. Hi, on the field, 
So scheduling for the flag football league is going to be a little bit challenging. Um, but it looks like Mondays and Tuesdays are the open nights for uh, flag football. As you know, a lot of the competitions are already set for the boys football teams. Um, according to the CIF, uh, the season should go from August 19th through August 24th, and anything after that looks like uh, playoffs, and that's to be determined, be determined later at a later time. Um, Upland is currently in construction of a new field on the northeastern side of the campus that should consist of a new baseball field and a practice football field and it should be completed before the next school year. If you were uh, around the area, you'll notice that construction is taking place uh, where they're leveling the ground and whatnot over on the north, northeastern side of the, the, the school on Foothill and Ready. Once again, we have Marlena Espinosa at quarterback. Dumps off to the left side, and Mia Thomas is on the sideline, and is finally taken down at, looks like the 40? No, uh, it's going to be the, they're going to mark it at about the 46. 44. It's been a while since we had a live sports game. I miss live sports. I feel like a lot of people are around those live sports. Yeah, I miss the dinners after school. And in and out today. For the crew. And we have uh, the ball under center, high snap, uh, but uh, quarterback was able to retrieve that. And the run was to the left side. That was, was that number 22. Yeah, and while we, while we wait for them, it appears that when we show our scoreboard, it appears to be a little bit judgmental today. There's some time that just comes back at us. So. Yeah, Espinoza right that last place was able to, to jump up. It shows her athleticism. One hand catch that ball so that she can um, make that play happen. Ball's placed on the 42-yard line. One thing I'm noticing though is that when they throw the ball back, it's a, a little bit high. It's just at least we can see sometimes them just jumping in the air trying to. Yeah, they didn't get a whole lot of time. You know, it's not like uh, they're here all summer like the football team getting ready. Oh, a stiff arm to get get away from the lineman coming in at her. And Espinoza is just short of first down and uh, is down at about the. 34. Flags down about the 33 yard line. Sorry, that's a 37 yard line. They're an inch and closer, but they're at third down right now. It's going to be up to the, the junior defense to make sure they don't get that opportunity that we them to make it to the end. All right, Spinoza at shotgun. It's been shotgun all day. And she's going to take off right down the middle. And did she get the first down? Alicia Moore on the stop. And spotted at the 35, which is just short. And you can see how uh, 
running the ball is a disadvantage. You don't get a whole lot. It's too easy to get the flag. If someone happens to miss, then it could, could go far. Well, there you go on the side, and she was able to she was able to get the yard. She was able to get the yard. So we're back to first now. Junior is celebrating uh, because she was able to get the flag, but not before she got the first down. You hear Pablo listing off the coaches for Whoa. Yeah. Pass disrupted and um, plays dead. But uh, yeah, those were the coaches for the seniors. Theo Thompson, the captain, head coach. Six six with a minute and thirty five on the clock. And it's caught by number nineteen. It's Mia Thomas again. Mia Thomas Yeah, that was a, a looked like a post pattern or an in. And looking here from the crowd, we have a pretty packed grandstand. I mean, football is football, no matter what angle you look at things, so people are bound to come. Yeah, it was like, at 4.15 it was empty, and by 5 o'clock it's packed. Oh. Yeah, Mia Thompson's got great hands, but uh, was immediately taken down. It's more of a tackle. Quite the yeah. Looking back on that replay. Now they need a couple more yards to get to the first down, and so they could run it. Getting those short yardages might be possible. It's very dangerous with the the ease of getting flagged. So they're going to go to a throw, and it's go to Thomas again. And she's able to cross. It uh, was that she's able to cross number 70, uh, Bethany Leo, who uh, is a key block. And Thomas was able to run around her and gain some more yardage. This is a long drive for the senior, and it's 16.6 uh, seconds left. As we mentioned briefly earlier, girls' flag football is coming to Upper High School. You if you are interested, there is a meeting next Thursday, March 28th, 35, and it's going to be amazing. Both for them and for us. Again, we're supposed to stream. And we're going to be busy next year. Girls' flag football is coming to Upper High School. If you are interested, there is a meeting next Thursday, March 28th, during lunch. It just kind of blows that uh, Kings Ball was supposed to have some scheduling issues this year. We usually have Kings Ball after the Powder Puff game. And at Kings Ball, we have, just like uh, there is a prom queen for prom, uh, we have Mr. Highlander for uh, King's Ball, but 
Um, that's still happening. So I guess voting was yesterday. Yes, voting was yesterday, and we're gonna that's gonna happen around half the time here on the. Looks like they're rushing against the flags. Justin Benson, Gavin Marquez, Noah Guerrero, Luke, Debo, and Abel. Outstanding junior coaches as well. Thank you, gentlemen. Your time and effort, both senior and junior coaches, greatly appreciate it. Good. Anna Martin. Number five. Something to pass, but I've taken. <laughs> the coaches said they on the junior side are not looking to them. Understandably, but. It was uh, quarterback 35. I love it. Like the crowd is trying to snatch the flag. So, Successful. Uh, third and 15. Uh, third, third and like 10, but there's four seconds left. Yeah. 4.16, 11 minutes, 4 o'clock. Four seconds. So the seats out. And One nine yards to close to the end zone. We have um, Bo Wielden, the athletic director on that backside. He's been refing this for between 10 and 15 years. Uh, he was also the former varsity girls head coach, uh, varsity soccer head coach. He had uh, three championships with them. And we have the head coach of the boys' varsity football team, Daryl Thomas, refereeing as well, volunteering their time. They're coming back on the field for the last play, trying to see if they can break the tie, see the senior come on top in the last second this quarter. All right, the seniors have sent the play in and everyone on the sideline. I'll see you next unit and score a touchdown here with most likely the last play of the first half. We're tied at six. Pass in the end zone! All right, huge catch. Yeah, in traffic, Mia Thomas is able to get that between two uh, defenders and uh, scores for seniors it's now 12 to 6, right before the end of the quarter. Considering how they ended playing, though, I, I believe it's going to be a two point conversion. Yeah. So when I, told, when I looked up, I saw, because maybe I missed out on one, yeah. I saw two. She's right in the middle of them. The junior coaches have been frantic on the other side, so telling their players, I can't I tag. They have been, They're not happy. Like yeah. <laughs> Looks like they're going to go for a two point conversion. So the seniors will get an untimed two point conversion attempt. 12-6 as it stands momentarily. They're looking to take it. And they set the ball at like the four yard line. Again, it's a shotgun. Arlita Espinosa. The last of that will go under the way. And a triple reverse. Double 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 reverse. Two it runs it in for uh, the extra point, the extra two points. And so that'll make it 14 to six. Alright, in the meantime, while we wait for 
We're going to run to a quick commercial break. We'll be right back after a word of our Are you struggling with math or science? Do you sometimes get stuck on a homework problem and wish you can get help right away? Well, Harvey Mudd's homework hotline is what you need. Any students 4th through 12th is eligible. Just call 1-877-8-ASK-HMC. Once again, that's area code 877-827-5462 to receive immediate assistance with any math or science assignment or project. These expert college tutors are available in the evening Monday through Thursday from 6 to 9 for free. Yes, this service is completely free. You can get help with just one problem or get an entire tutoring session. It's up to you. Homework Online tutors are comprehensively trained in all local districts' math and science curriculum. And they have copies of all your math and science textbooks too. So getting all the help you need is just a quick phone call away. Don't hesitate. Call today and get help with your math and science homework. Are you craving hand-picked, fresh, delectable food? Well, come on down to your favorite seafood restaurant, Captain's Grill, located in downtown Upland. Their second location opened in August of 2023, and Captain's Grill's already boasting reviews of 4.8 stars on Yelp. Captain's Grill always serves high-quality seafood, and their meats are fresh and never frozen. If you aren't looking for seafood, Captain's Grill has a variety of other quality options for you. With tasty foods and great service, Captain's Grill is perfect for night out with friends or family. Dine in or order takeout today. Home is more than walls and a roof. It's where memories are woven into the fabric of our daily life. It's a sanctuary of comfort. Home is the embrace of familiar warmth, the echo of footsteps that tell a story. It's the canvas of our existence, painted with colors of love and belonging. It's where values are nurtured, bonds are strengthened, and aspirations take flight. Home isn't just an address. It's the heartbeat of our journey, where the symphony of life plays its sweetest notes. Any realtor can sell you a house, but Veronica Agris will find you your home. Hey dude, I saw you cut. It's a little bit of a fix, but I know a place where I can line you up, alright? Follow me. Ripped jeans? Vacuum Cell is just what you need. Here, you can find an array of fabrics and threads to suit all your projects, obligations, and emergencies.
Vac and Sew, located in the historic Upland downtown, selling vacuums and sewing equipment since 1969. Services include scissor sharpening, servicing machines, and vacuum repairs. Regular group and private classes are offered as well. Free sewing classes are included with every sewing machine purchase. These classes include machine operation, sewing, and quilting lessons. Call 909-949-4884. Man, I'm so tired of this. Mm. And this place is so boring. I know, this place is a drag. And I'm hungry too. I'm so hungry, my stomach's eating itself. Speaking of food. That looks so good. I know, I wonder where it's from. We gotta, gotta ask. ask. <gasps> Hey, what's up? Hey. What are you eating? Legends Burgers. Legends? Yeah. What's Legends? It's a really good burger place up here off a of mountain in 16. We gotta go. And welcome back to halftime. Uh, we have Mr. The voting for Mr. Highlander happened this week, and the voting ended. So now, since we had a little bit of a scheduling issue with Kings Ball, I'm pretty sure you still announced at the football game anyway, right? I think that's what's going on on the field right now. It looks like. All right. Uh, we have a shirtless person in a towel. I think uh, I, I think from the, the swim meet that's happening right now. There's a swim race going on. I think uh, some of our powder puff players are also uh, in races. So the court is all up. I also see our principal, Dr. Gomez, rushing out on the field. And you heard it here of uh, the two time champion. Our two-time Mr. Highlander, Alec D, Jacob De Leon. And ladies and gentlemen, that has been the 2024 Highlander, Mr. Highlander court. So while we wait, we'll be right back after a very, very quick word from our sponsors. Vac and Sew, located in the historic Upland downtown, selling vacuums and sewing equipment since 1969. Man, I'm so tired Services of include this. Scissor yeah. sharpening, this place servicing so machines, I know. and vacuum. Repairs. This place is a drag. Regular group and private classes are offered as well. And I'm hungry too. I'm so hungry. My stomach's eating itself. Purchase. 
These classes include Speaking of machine food. operation, sewing, and quilting lessons. Bru that looks so Call good. Call 909-949-4884. We gotta, we gotta ask. ask. <gasps> hey, what's up? Hey, what are you eating? Legends Burgers. Legends? Yeah. What's Legends? It's a really good burger place up here off a of mountain in 16. We gotta go. presentation of powder puff we just saw the the highland mr highlander court um and uh there will be no uh king's ball this year uh we have seen a last minute touchdown by mia thomas mia thompson excuse me and uh the score is 14 to 6 the seniors are leading this was a uh, a very strong senior team that won last year as juniors. I and guess so, trying to keep that yeah. energy before saying their last goodbye here to high school. Oh, which isn't too far from now, isn't it? And we've got prom coming up, we've got testing, AP oh. testing, and then uh, grad night. Then it's all over. Flies by so fast. It does. I still remember when we used to broadcast regular football. But yeah, and then in soccer. Oh, soccer was good. We, the soccer team had a really good run this week, making it to CIF regional. Yeah, uh, winning the CIF Southern section. First time it's happened. Yeah, they won their division uh, for the first time in 30 years. Congratulations, Coach Diaz. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We still have plenty of seasons left uh, for the spring sports, plenty of season left uh, for golf, for our boys tennis team, our uh, track and field, we have swim and dive going on right now, volleyball. And we're off. And volleyball again dominating. And the ball is returned by number 80 for the juniors. And that is Jeslyn Vasquez. Jeslyn picked that up off the bounce and ran towards the center of the field um, until she was finally stopped at the 35 yard line. Yeah, they do things a little bit differently here where you don't have the whole the whole offensive team in the huddle. You have the centers just kind of on the line. I guess they know what to do. Uh, or whatever the plays are going to be doesn't affect the centers or the, the, the linemen. Here we go on left side, 35. Yeah, so the no one's getting her flag. Now, I'm not sure... If it was just a challenge for them, but um, it looks like, I don't know, from here it looks like there's one flag on the right and two flags on the left. But uh, flag was finally taken, oh, that's because the flag was taken down. <laughs> the flag, flag is uh, at, uh, sorry, I'm not used to flag football. We're going to have to get used to it, right? Um, Especially for next year. Yeah. So we're at uh, the 44-yard line. And wow, we've got a nice run to the left side, and no one's on her. The 10, and it's good! That's Paige Stevenson running all the way from midfield. An impressive run. 
I guess runs can be effective in, uh, in powder puff flag football. That takes our score up 12 for the juniors and 14 for the seniors. They have an opportunity to tie it up here with two point conversion. Ball set at the four yard line. to the right side, untouched, and that's going to be 14 to 14 in Just their outstanding speed. The coach is off the field. Is able to get by the defender. Tell Debo Brown to get off the field. Debo Brown. And the kick. That's Alexandra Escalante on the kick. Flag is. Taken about 25. It's taken by the kick kicker Alexander Escalante. Pablo uh, mentioning the excitement on the other side. The coaches are, are pumped. As they should be, this game is super excited. You see how both teams can deal blows to one another almost when they get the ball. So, exciting, it definitely is. Yeah, the juniors are really hyped up. They're, they're wanting to win. They're, there's no doubt about it. As I said, before the game, they were really confident that they were going to win the game. Seniors throwing nice spiral to left, batted away, and that was uh, Paige Stevenson. With an impressive block. Yeah, showing great athleticism on both sides of the ball. I believe the Bayern Munich was on the varsity team. Yes. She's got great speed. Okay, so it's, it's her mom's birthday or grandma? Allison versus, is she's here? The grandma is here? Yes. Do you know how young she is? Do you have an age? And, uh, okay. the snap is off and it's handed off to the right side, but immediately grabbed, uh, number 68. Uh, yeah, Vivian that's Kennett. Vivian Kennett, yeah. Vivian Great rush. Kennett. 
tennis player as well. Instead of a rush to the net, it's a rush to the flag. So we're at third down with Uh, 1541 and the juniors take a timeout. <laughs> See Mr. Gomez, or principal, Dr. Gomez, uh, on the sideline. Oh, I didn't see him. Some celebrities here. Uh, ASB director, Mr. McGee, on the sideline. Miss Ross, a uh, golf coach as well. Yeah. Girls golf. And also an introduction that must be made down by the Eastern end zone corner by the electric golf cart is our CIF champion boys soccer coach, Mr. Mike Diaz. Congratulations to boys soccer winning their first ever CIF soccer championship. You high! As noted earlier, uh, you know, boys soccer had won their CIF championship and uh, that was being reiterated and celebrated by Paula Robertson. Yeah, we, we had a little Bratton runner here to sound good on the flat. Alright, the pass is off to the right side, and there's a pass. double pass, but no, oh, oh, no. almost intercepted uh, by Sarah Thomas. So yeah, Mia, Mia Thomas uh, on that throw, this is showing she can just uh, just as well throw it as she can catch it. Although that would it's probably a little bit off the mark. It is fourth down. If you want to close your hand a little bit, they, they would have definitely gotten that interception, but it just fell through their hands. But I think the seniors know that she can throw it. And, um, they put that play in with uh, some confidence. Quadruple receivers to the left side. Everything to the right. But, uh, and there's no flag. No flag. They're just going to say it's dead play. Ball was a little overthrown, but uh, there are also defenders there. And, and she couldn't get by him. So now I believe that the position switches to the juniors. It was while uh, the ball is changing sides, I'd like to thank Vac and So. Uh, if you need a sewing machine or repair or on a vacuum or a sewing machine or need training on it, head downtown and uh, check them out. Get some lessons, learn how to, to sew some clothes. Yes, the run on the right side, is that a fumble? No, it's a hit the ground first, so. Looked like that was, that was Haley Medina on the junior side uh, that uh, was trying to get it around the corner and fell. So, that was the speedster that scored the uh, two point conversion.
Looks like the, the line is ready to go, but there's nobody in the backfield. A little miscommunication there. But now that uh, juniors have possession. Madison. Really close. They have a boat in. Oh, there. Person open. Uh, was, wasn't able to pull it down. Trying to get around the corner, and she runs out of bounds. It's about the 15. So the senior defense stiffening at the right time. Senior defense really locking in. They're not wanting those down to come through for the juniors. Make it to the end zone. If they can convert a first down, they're in good shape to score. So we're at fourth down right now, with about 11 and a half minutes left on the clock. Coaches are calling the play. Well, that's able to release the first down. They're going to have a touchdown. Fourth and four. Fourth and four. I want to see what their approach might be because, I mean, they, there's, I mean. Oh, right, balled in it. Shotgun. Balls and gives it to uh, Haley Medina again. Touchdown! And she scores again on that right side. For the first time this game, there was a lot of deception on the play. She's got incredible speed running out. They're probably huddling just seeing what strategy they want to take for this up on the play. David Watson carrying the flag for Upland. Uh, he was in video production for a couple of years. He was in a advanced last year and beginning video the year before that. Well done. Uh, getting tangled up, still on her. Oh no, the flag is down at the 10. So, two point conversion, no good. So, the score 20 to 14, 10 49 to play. On the field for the juniors, number 56, and it was close too. We I think, again, at the fourth. And she is Impressive that they were able to pull that off. We were talking about dinner. You know where it's a good place to go for dinner? Ooh, I want to hear that. Captain's Grill Captain's in downtown Grill. Upland. Great seafood. A UTV sponsor. Go check them out. They've got a great uh, seafood nachos plate and uh, fish sandwiches. Uh, in fact, uh, I think we have a commercial on that. Yeah, I mean, on Captain's Girl. You just commented about that first. On the field right now for the juniors, Emily Deering, number six. Number four, Sarah Thomas. Number seven, Emily Deering. Number eight, Emily Deering. Number nine, Emily Deering. Number 12, Natalia Luna. Number 80, Jasmine Bosman. 
Junior is set to kick off. All right, Alexandra Escalante kicking off, and the ball goes all the way down to the 15 yard line. Chloe Wheeler uh, is untouched, and she's going to get all the way. Is there a flag down anywhere? Or are they going to say she was out of bounds? No? She's, we're looking. Looking on the left side. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> she uh, was down at looks like the 40, 40 ish. That's dangerous speed. Number 18, Kennedy Gately, as we see the number of the announcers. 54. 54 for the seniors. Angela Cruz. 9. Number 9. Sean Elahim. Announcing the starting lineup for the seniors. Clock running. The juniors are there. 53 in the backfield. In the backfield for the seniors. We have uh, Marlena Espinoza ready to take the <laughs> ready to take the uh, snap. There we go. This is your touchdown and you're gonna be gonna have a holiday. We're gonna have a holiday. And there she goes! <laughs> Just celebrating. What was that? Uh, 16 is on the field. I think it was uh, Jocelyn Morales? No, uh, Emily Marquez. Yeah, I hear you. I've been needing a haircut for years. <laughs> I should go down uh, to down downtown Upland. There's a place there, isn't there? Upland Barbershop. Upland Barbershop. Megan Mitchell, number 667. Oh, the handoff dropped. Now, if that was if that was uh, varsity boys football, that would have been a fumble. Well, they call the play dead there. So that's going to take the ball back to the 35 yard line. So third down, 15 to go. They're going to run it. Nope, the flag taken by number 10. Yeah, it was um, Motique Smith uh, running through the middle. Uh, but uh, they were able to get the flag. Quickly. Yeah, sometimes it can be really challenging to find the right person to help you with all your needs, um, making sure that uh, you can get into those houses and, and have access to those listings. And, and there's, a, there's a person right here in Upland named Veronica Agras, and she's with First Team Realty, and uh, she'll get you a great deal um, and really help you 
of you know stress free on this of huge endeavor of taking on selling or buying a house absolutely on the left side wide open uh, is overthrown that ball was intended for Molly Higuera. Higuera. So, juniors still with the lead get the ball back as uh, that was a turnover and downs. I wonder if they'll have male cheerleaders for the flag football season. And if the powder puff tradition continues, then we're going to have, you know, people that are actually playing in the football league. Uh, you know, competing against each other in this annual game. And it could be a very different outcome than what we see. Oh, well, you've got... However, they're very athletic out there. It's just knowing or getting, being used to the game after doing it for a whole season uh, where, you know, they just had a couple of weeks to train to do this. I'm excited to see that outcome about this team next year. Brooks, 62 for Brooke Cota, 66 Olivia Power. I feel like it might be a big one. It might be a big one. Now, some teams had already started last year because uh, the CIF had decided on it the 2023, before the 2023 season. So there were some leagues that started this year. And so we're coming in second year of its existence. Um, but uh, we had our our coach announced. Uh, that's Heather Inglima. It'll be the first girls flag football coach. Just a reminder, um, contrary to popular belief, the seniors don't always win. In fact, last year the juniors won 32 to 26. It's looking like it, yeah. It's five minutes left and it's 20 to 14 juniors and they have the ball. We'll see what happens. There's receivers on the left side. It's a split, two and two. But it's going to be a run. This is run, having to run backwards and tackled down at the uh, 40, sorry, 38. Yeah, that was what, Emily Wright? I think that was Emily Wright, number 45, going to the right side. Well, if students aren't here tonight, it could be because they have a lot of math and science homework. And if they're struggling, there is a hotline that they can call. And they're based out of Harvey Mudd College, you know, one of the most reputable um, engineering schools. 
uh, without a graduate program. They probably are the top in the country for engineering. Um, and they're just right next door in Claremont. And um, they have all the, the local textbooks and all the curriculums. So if uh, you're in need of homework help, um, look up, uh, I think it's 8778 uh, ask HMC as the, the phone number to call for homework help hotline. And there's a, uh, I don't know, the, the snap went off. Um, no one moved, but uh, the quarterback got it and took it, kept it, and got a few yards from it. Yes. <laughs> Stunted, yeah. Like, uh, was that a snap or what? People were confused, but um, that's interesting. You don't see that happen much during the uh, varsity football season. <laughs> If what? Yeah, you can't you can't go. The defense can't pass the scrimmage line until the ball's moved. Um, and uh, but it was hiked and everyone stood still, so nobody went. So that's what was interesting, because once the ball goes, people take off. <laughs> All right, seniors with the ball. Quick, quick dump off to the right, and the flag is taken, so no gain on that. Evelyn Wright, number 45, with that uh, flag pull. Hmm. Uh, hand off to Smith, running to the right side and trying to get out of bounds at uh, about the 40, mm, 38, maybe 39. All right, hand off to Smith on the left side. It's kind of a, like a counter. Coming from the opposite side and then going to the 50. Untouched. So that's a first down for the seniors. There it is on the left side, you see there. With around two minutes left, we're, they're kind of in a uh, tight spot. And so, this has been indicated there's two timeouts left for both teams. So yeah, the seniors took that time out. Uh, they want to stop the clock because they're driving. And uh, they could, you know, uh, two minutes in, in high school football is, is definitely enough time to get down 80 yards. So we'll see. Physicality down. 
See the quarterback get bumped there. And then again on the, the receiving side. Espinoza on that pass. Espinoza again, throws it down the middle. Oh, it's a little overthrown. Just a tad bit too much zip on that ball. It, they tried to pass it to number 19, Mia Thomas, but it just bounced off her hand. So you see that there. So we're on a third down, two unsuccessful passes. We're going to see if they try it again. It looks like they are. Uh, and that's underthrown. And uh, it's not looking good for the seniors with a minute 56 left. So yeah, they have a long way to go. Uh, so not sure what uh, Theo Thompson, the, the head coach, is uh, conjured up here, but it's going to have to be a doozy because 10 yards is a long way to go, and that could be the game. And the, the juniors just need to make sure to wall up their defense. They might come up with a trick here. Yep. Here's a handoff to Smith. Flag taken. Flag taken way before they can get to the first down. In fact, uh, there is still nine yards to go, it looks like. So they gain, gained about five. So with 151 left, uh, juniors get the ball back. Now the only question here is, and they have timeouts. They have two timeouts. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. They need to make sure that they, if they're in a predicament, they have to lose those timeouts. Or else it's just going to be a waste of time. So back. Unless they score right now. <laughs> they have 40 yards to make it. And they have a minute 50 to make See what happens. All right. All right. Okay. Well done to, looks like, looks like 80. And that would be uh, Jasmine, ja Jaslyn Vasquez. Running on that right side, but it was stopped. I'm not sure if it's just me, but just looking at this replay, it just seems like there's a lot more physical like we just saw here. Not yeah. just trying to grab the flag, not trying to like bump them out oh, the way. Probably realizing what they can get away with, and uh, and this is a physical game. And I think uh, as we see the league happen next year, we'll, we'll see more, um, you know, physicality. You know, out of the players bumping and because uh, that's that's football. I mean, blocking will still happen, and uh, you know, pick off picking off players, and, uh, and it's when you know when you're in front of somebody and they're running towards you. you know, if they don't slow down, run, they're going to run through you. You still have to grab that flag. So it's like wrapping up a player. So we'll see what kind of um, you know penalties they're going to develop from that. 
they're trying to run up the middle. And like I said, that's a really challenging thing in flag football because it's not, it's based on, not based on speed and tackling. Um, they can just grab the flag. And so they only gain like a, a yard on that play. I feel like from, from just seeing them play, I feel like some of the, some of the players here should definitely be joined, especially like, well, you can see it, but the juniors, there's a toss to, to number 80 again, doing a lot of runs. If we can get a replay up, we can see here that they were running down, made it to the 40. Yeah, thing about uh, Vasquez, right? Oh no, that's not Vasquez. That was uh, Medina, Haley Medina. She scored uh, the extra point and touchdown on the right side. Clock down to one minute thirty. Baldone, it goes over her head into to Medina, to Medina and she's running to the right. And does she get the first down? Did she make it? Uh, the junior coach is saying that she got it, but uh, the ref is calling it short. Seniors take over on down. Oh, the juniors are not happy. Everyone's throwing their hats. <laughs> uh, they're frustrated. They wanted another chance at it, but uh, with a minute 29, uh, seniors get the ball back. Turnover on downs. While that's going on, I want to give a big shout out to Legends Burger, that uh, 50s diner up on uh, Baseline and Mountain. Uh, there's also another one in Rancho Cucamonga, um, but uh, they've yeah they've got they got amazing hamburgers there. Uh, they've got this one burger, the pastrami, pastrami burger. Oh, yeah, so they like pile on it. Yeah, it's you have to eat it in pieces. It's it's. Oh, and they've got great chili. It's just a perfect spiciness, and that that ball is. Uh, oh, there's a penalty. Um, that was underthrown, but um, there's a penalty. It's in the back. Field? No, it's going to be a pass interference, and so that's why there's nobody around. And therefore, 15 yards are given all the way to the 40. So that was caught by the the backline coach, uh, the backline ref, uh, Mr. Wilden. And the handoff from the left side, from the left, from the left to right, and that was. Yeah, Chloe Wheeler. Yeah, too much traffic there. Yeah, that's why running plays are really challenging for flag football. Got a high snap and a nice throw. They almost intercepted by Paige Stevenson. See her athleticism. Thrown down. Just look at that block. No, really, really close one. Third and ten. Yeah, it's an interception. Uh, but she bats it down. Says you're not getting that ball. No one is. 
thrown down. Good oh, nice pass. Again, Espinoza to Thomas. Huge gain. Well, all the way to the 35 yard line. But she's got a great arm. She can throw a bullet. And this is going to be a handoff, but uh, yeah, held up on uh, around the line of scrimmage. 35. Yep, that was nowhere. So third down. That's a uh, Heather in Glima. She better be taking notes from this game. Yeah, she's got, it's like a tryout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see how they uh, react under pressure and uh, how athletic they are. Uh, the juniors are stepping up on defense. Just under a minute to go. It's a nice pass by uh, a really good defensive play. So still on the 35 yard line. Snap is to Espinosa. Espinosa is going to take it. And the flag is pulled at about the 31 or 32 yard line. So I made a mistake earlier saying it was a third down. So that was a second. So this is now fourth down. That incomplete pass should be a turnover on downs, and now it's the junior's ball at 50, 50 seconds left. Seventy yards. That's right. Yeah, so if they, they stick with the passing their passing game, although they've had some success on their running game, and it, it seems that they've uh, been prioritizing their running game on that far right side with Medina. Very much Send out a shout out to everybody that is here. The participants, coaches, all the faculty, administrators, our trainers. Absolutely. Love our viewers uh, tuning in to our live bulletins and our live games. Here. Thank you for joining us. This is, uh, this is a learning process for our team here, our crew, uh, that uh, some have never done this before. So we've got, you know, we're all student run. Whoa! <laughs> Huge sack. <laughs> wow. It's a physical game. 
I don't way, think like, I don't like, like physical <laughs> stuff. <laughs> so, it's a skin game. Yeah. All right, it looks like they're all for blood. But, yeah, uh, it was a student-run program, so a lot of the decisions made and a lot of the uh, responsibilities are done by students here at Upland High School. We've got a reputable program. Um, the director, uh, the, the technical director, El Escano, doing the switching today. We have our producer, Joy Smith. It's making sure everything runs effectively and uh, that uh, people know what they're doing and that this show gets off the ground and, and to the public. Of course, we have our camera operators. They have to get all the right, right, right balances. And that's, uh, that pass is just a dump over the line, um, but uh, not able to, to get it to the receiver. Again, with the line. I don't even know that this is down. I bet it's a lot of conversions. Or down, though. Well, yeah, wasn't able to do much. Um, and. They even, they even lost yardage on that last possession. So it's fourth down. Let's see what they're going to do. Uh, doesn't look like there's been any punting going on. It's been all turnovers on downs. And the decision made by the varsity football boys teams, um, the heads of those teams are the coaches. Someone's going to punt, I think. 51 is going to punt. 500 for the juniors, 20? It looks like it. Otherwise, I... Peyton Arnold, dropping back in punt formation. Oh, looks like we got our first one. Wow. Well, it hasn't happened yet, so we'll see. All of the tournaments. <laughs> and there's the kick. And the punt gets past the 50. And it's at the 45. And that's about the 47. But she gets all the way, Smith gets all the way to about the 30 yard line where she's out of bounds. So as I mentioned earlier, we have uh, an awesome camera crew. Uh, we have uh, our mid-camera, Jake Tatera, usually doing the replays, but he's on the replay camera this time. Uh, we have uh, Corey Hall on the wide cam. Chris is the marching band drum major at our close-up camera. We have Leo Boucheri on our scoreboard. Checking in on our audio is Ashley Deakins. Our replay is done by Alexis Ortiz. And uh, I'm here with Nico and I, Mr. Miro. And they get they get pushed back, and, and Espinoza gets technically sacked. So Junior is still up 20 to 14 with 20 seconds left. Seniors have the ball at the 30, 39. 
38 and a half. The ball just moved back <laughs> to 39. And a pass to the right. Oh, look at that. Shoot. Oh. Espinoza hits a target, but the uh, receiver dropped the ball. And uh, that's an excellent throw. She could be the quarterback for the league. Actually, well, she wouldn't be because she's a senior. She won't be here next year. So there are a lot of flag football hopefuls right, on his junior side. Hear the crowd going nuts for the seniors. Enthusiasm from both sides as we have 16 seconds left. Espinoza to the right to number 19. Whoa! Got almost intercepted. So, Jacina Valdez uh, just lost the ball, but um, it wasn't uh, it wasn't a complete pass. So, senior, uh, the junior still did the job. 10.6 left. 2014. Seniors still in the lead. on edge. Right there. Espinoza, Espinoza, back to pass. Steps up to Big pass, and it looked like uh, her, her path was impeded a little bit, but um, they're both going for the ball, so no penalty. So that was fourth down for the seniors, and so the juniors will take over with five seconds left. This could be another junior win. So that'll dispel the, the myth that seniors always win, or that it's fixed. So if you're interested in girls flag football, joining the league, uh, March 28th is the info meeting with uh, new coach Heather Inglima. Uh, that meeting will happen at the PD Portable at lunch on March 28th. First ever flag football uh, league at Upland. And uh, that Stevenson running, running the other direction all the way on to this side. Now I'm not sure. Oh, the, they, uh, they Once again, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Vac and So, Veronica Gras for First Team Realty, uh, Captain's Girl, Homework Help Line at Harvey Mudd, uh, Barbershop, and Legends Burger. Um, from all of us here at UTV Studio Production, I'm James Mira. I'm Nicholas Good night. Let's